Hi, today I'm gonna to be starting a new series and these are gonna be my most favorite copycat recipes from restaurants, dishes, all kinds of things. So I hope you enjoy it. Today I'm gonna to be making a recipe of a copycat Jiffy cornbread mix. Now, I don't know about you, but I love Jiffy cornbread. If, if I have time, I always make cornbread with chili and different types of things. But the Jiffy cornbread is so easy. You just mix everything up, pop it in the oven, and then you've got a, a small cornbread or maybe six of the corn muffins. So the recipe that I'm gonna be doing today actually doubles that. So if you wanna do the actual Jiffy cornbread mix, then you'll only wanna do half of this recipe, but I'm gonna make enough that I can put it into containers and, well, a container, and then I can have cornbread mix whenever I like it. Now this will store up to a year in your cupboard in a airtight container. So I hope you enjoy it. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two thirds of a cup of flour. So I've actually got two one third measuring spoons here. So I'm gonna put one there and one more. You're actually gonna use a whole cup of cornmeal. So you're gonna put in a cup of plain cornmeal. Now I always use the yellow cornmeal, but I suspect you could use the white if you like. Then you're gonna add a fourth of a cup of granulated sugar. So I've got some sugar right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. We're gonna be putting in two tablespoons of baking powder and a half of a tablespoon of salt. So that's all we're gonna do. I'm just gonna mix this up really well. And I'm gonna measure this into a measuring cup because I just wanna see how much I need for one recipe. All right. So what I'm gonna do is, let's see, how many get rid of this? salt. All right, so we're going to put our mixture in a measuring cup just so I can see how much this makes because I'm going to have it in one large container and I want to know how much to take out when I'm making cornbread. Okay, so this makes exactly one and a half cups of a dry ingredient. So I'm gonna write that down because when I make cornbread, I'm gonna take this out of my container. But for now, all I'm gonna do is just fill this up into a quart size jar. And hopefully I can get two servings out of this. my funnel in there. I'm just going to put this in my jar. And I think this is gonna have just enough for two servings of cornbread mix. And that's absolutely perfect. Couldn't ask for anything better. Now this recipe is actually going to make 24 muffins or two large, uh, you know, bowls of cornbread. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and label this so I know how to prepare this when I make my cornbread. So I've got my 
my Jiffy dry mix all put together. I put my directions on the side and all I do is take one of these little blue sticks. I get them at the Dollar Tree and I kind of like having my recipe right there. When I'm all done with this and I say I no longer want it in a uh, mason jar, all I have to do is just use soap and water and this will come right off. But while it's dry, it actually sticks very well. And it makes a great way to kind of know what you are looking for in the cupboard. And then you have your directions right there handy for you. So I hope you'll try this copycat recipe a try. If you'd like to do half of the recipe and you want to do exactly what's on the Jiffy box, just cut all this in half. Instead of taking one and a half cups of your dry mix, you'll just take three quarters of a cup and then use half of the ingredients to go ahead and cook them. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I'm gonna be doing lots of copycat recipes in this new playlist, and I hope you enjoy it. Please consider subscribing. I look forward to having you as a part of my family. So have a great day. Bye-bye.